Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rowlett and welcome to a brand new video guys. Man, I'm feeling mellow dude. I'm feeling mellow. I just woke up and my phone was exploding because a brand new Pokemon game was freaking revealed and it's actually getting released right now uh, and it's called Pokemon Rumble Rush or Pokemon Rumble S uh, uh, SP I guess. It's kind of hard to know which one it is though ladies and gentlemen but a brand new Pokemon game on mobile has now been announced. Now this isn't the same game that we got the uh, information about the other day. This isn't the same game. This is a game that's been in development since 2017, okay? This is a mobile game that's been in development since 2017. The one we got the, like, uh, the information that uh, Dana is working on with uh, Nintendo, with the Pokemon company, uh, that's a game for next year, okay? That's a next year mobile game. This game is not that. This is a different game. This is a Pokemon... Um, mobile game that's been in development since 2017, but they never really finished it, okay? They, it was never really completed, and that sort of stuff. Now, the game is already out on Google Play, and I'll be actually showing some information about it here and going through some of the info. So, simple terms like this. The game is coming out slowly. It's already out on Google Play Store uh, for a few a few countries. Australia has it. Um, I think America has it on Google Play Store as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, iOS doesn't have it yet, so... I won't be able to play it yet myself, um, but it's going to be on there soon enough as well. But yeah, so let's get into the actual stuff though. So Pokemon Rumble Rush announced for smartphones. Free to play title due, due to be out soon. Uh, the Pokemon company has announced, and if we look at the announcement itself, I think we'll um, see it right here. The uh, oh, This is a Japanese announcement, I guess. Is uh, soon Pokemon Scramble SP distribution starts. Sorry to keep you waiting. Pokeland, which had previously conducted the alpha test, will soon appear as a game application Pokemon Scramble SP for smartphones. Um, and the thing though is, right, this was meant to be, like, called Pokemon Rumble Pokemon, or like, po you know, it was a different game originally, and now it's changed around and become something, something new. Um, so about uh, the game, a world full of uncharted islands, uh, aided by strong Pokemon, and a spirit of discovery. Journey through uncharted islands and have many Pokemon. Uh, key features, enjoy fast-paced gameplay on the go, it's easy to control your Pokemon with one hand, uh, which is kind of funny they mentioned that, I mean, the, the whole like, you know, easy on the go, considering that the game was also available, or these sort of games have been available on the 3DS in the past, and that sort of stuff, but either way, I digress. Uh, clear stages by controlling your Pokemon as it moves forward. If you see an enemy Pokemon, you can attack by just tapping the screen. Tap to engage in exciting gameplay action. So yeah. Sounds pretty straightforward, sounds pretty good. Uh, the islands and sea, uh, seas explored during your adventure change every two weeks. So it's going to be a weekly kind of instance thing, right? Like the islands and seas explored will be changing each week. So that's uh, every two weeks. That's, that's kind of interesting. Uh, you may find f uh, unfamiliar and strong Pokemon on new islands, so journey through various islands and seas and collect more and more Pokemon. Fair enough. Upgrade Pokemon of your choice. You'll sometimes receive uh, ore when you clear a stage. Refine ore to get power gears that you can use to make your Pokemon stronger. Alright, so this seems, this kind of like when you say power gears, I'm just like, hmm, hmm, armored Pokemon? No, I'm just joking. Um, you may even be able to refine ore into a, into a summon gear that calls forth a Pokemon to use a powerful move. Uh, use power, uh, power gears and summon gears to help you, your favorite Pokemon do well. Sounds good to me, man. And then test your strength using the Pokemon you've collected. Occasionally, you can earn rewards by working your way through the super boss rush. You'll need many different Pokemon of, str uh, of types of strong Pokemon to win each Super Boss Rush. Harness the power of the Pokemon you've collected from various islands and seas to defeat the powerful Super Boss uh, bosses. Which sounds pretty straightforward. People are just kind of talking about here is the way to trick Google Play into thinking I'm Australian. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of uh, interesting. So this this is kind of like one of those things that's been kind of happening very much recently is that we're getting far more spin-off Pokemon games on mobile rather than getting them on like you know um, other platforms. I'm in, I'm want I really want a mystery dungeon game on the on the Switch. I think it'd be fun to have a mystery dungeon game on Switch. I really want to have a Pokemon Stadium game again or a Pokemon Battle Revolution game, which is even better. Like I want those sort of games to return, but we haven't seen any of those in development or ever coming, and it's a little bit sad because I think those games definitely deserve like you know new new iterations um and new continuations but they're not getting anything and this is the only thing where you know we're getting a lot of right recently it's like mobile games right we had Pokemon Quest that was on there uh, and Pokemon Quest on mobile right we had that but that wasn't really a long long longevity game it's kind of like 
nobody cares about it anymore. Nobody pays attention to it. Like, nobody even plays it anymore. I don't play it because, like, there's just not enough interest from people, like, out there who watch content. So, I'm not bothering making videos on it. I do think I can be making a few videos on this game, though. Because it's going to be, like, a weekly iteration thing. So, I definitely will make videos on this game if you guys want to see that. So, definitely keep your eyes out because I'll be making videos on this as soon as I can download it on my phone. Or I can download it on my PC so I can just record it on, like, you know, my computer. But, um, in general, it's just like, it feels like they've shifted a lot of their attention away from, like, making spin-off games on, you know, the consoles, like the Switch, uh, and the 3DS and stuff, and they're more focusing it now over to other areas, which is, again, a little bit, a, li a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is, so there's not really much we can do, and of course, there's the page for it, um... Funny enough, though, you see there is Rowlet in there, there's Popular, there's Litten, so Gen 7 Pokemon are in it, which is great, that makes me happy, because all I wanted was Rowlet. And here's a bit of a, another breakdown here from uh, Serby.net, saying back in 2017, the mobile game Pokeland, and this is what originally, originally was announced as, was announced for iOS and Android and went through various betas. Since then, nothing had been heard about it. Uh, and this is true, we have, I actually mentioned this a while back, that this game was in development, but I totally forgot about it. Um, the game has been re-announced as Pokemon Scramble SP. Or Pokemon Scramble Rush, I guess. And will be released on iOS and Android soon. We'll provide full details as they come. We've added new screenshots to our pre-release screenshots page, which we'll check out in a second. It is known as uh, as Rumble Rush in English and is now live in Australia on the Google Play Store. You have the ability to refine or to get power gears to make your Pokemon stronger or to even learn a new move. There's Super Boss Rush mode where you can pit your Pokemon against strong Pokemon to win. There are various challenges to complete in which you get diamonds as rewards and I assume there's going to be microtransactions to infinity in this. Um, and here are some of the screenshots. Now this is the old screenshots from like May. 2017 you'll see right here these are the, these screenshots up on top here are from may 2017 so this is the the original like stuff that was shown right from the beta beta and alpha stages of the game um or like alpha stages, i guess because that's what they say on their page uh officially um and this is what you you had right these images right here then we got some uh, more of this stuff right here uh showing you know how it looked like and um uh, it, it looked fine. It didn't look like the most epic, epith uh, you know, epic thing in the world. You had like here is like the microtransactions. There was like weird chests that you had to wait for until they opened. So I guess you would be able to pay to get them open quicker. Um, and then I mean, nine tails um, and whatnot. So yeah, you had. I mean, it, it's it's kind of like a mini game esque type world. It's 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 pretty straightforward. I think most people understand how this stuff works. But the new screenshots are these ones though, which do look slightly more refined. I could say, um, it's slightly more improved, more colors in there. Um, but overall, the same kind of thing going on, the same models and stuff. But at least like now they have it finished, so now it will actually work. So yeah, I'll definitely be doing videos on this though for sure. I'll definitely be doing videos on on this game, and I hope you guys will enjoy them, of course. Um, there we have a seemingly cutscenes, and you'll be able to use your Miis, like your, your, you know the Miis from like the Wii and whatnot, and the Wii U? You'll be seemingly able to use like Miis in this game, which is kind of weird. I, 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 I totally like disregarded like, them from my, like my brain, I totally forgot about them. Um, and this is the last screenshot in here that we can see, but I, I totally forgot about the Miis, honestly, I, I couldn't even remember them. Um, but yeah, so for those who do want to get this game, uh, quick heads up, I just want to tell you that it's not available just yet in uh, the whole of the world. It's only available in Australia on the Google Play Store at the moment, and it's been one hour since this thing got announced, okay? It's been one hour, so it definitely isn't out there fully yet, just give it some time, and soon you'll have your hands on it. And, uh, yeah, I'll be, of course, you know, I mean, if you guys want to see it, so let me know in the comment section down below, actually. If this is something you do want to see. Because I would love to cover this. If this is something you guys want. Um, so, and, yeah, someone actually just sent me a message. Uh, one of our viewers, Alexander the Crystal Gamer, actually has uh, a screenshot of Pokemon Rumble Rush. And he actually has the game downloadable already. So the game is going to be out, like, properly out uh, very soon anyways. So I will say that. Just keep your eyes peeled, you know, for when this comes out. And, of course, I, I want to ask again. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see, like, you know, any sort of content on this game or any other, like, these sort of, like, brand new games that come out. Because uh, remember when Pokemon Quest came out? I really want to make videos on it, but I, I felt like my audience would kind of, like disregard it or not like it at all and not want to watch it so if you guys do want to see some videos on this game please let me know uh, it won't be just kind of general gameplay videos rather it would be kind of like more like guides and stuff like that that i'd like to do for pokemon rumble rush so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comment section down below thanks so much for watching and i also want to just say one more thing guys thanks so much for the love and support recently you guys have been freaking fantastic um i've been trying out so much new content and it's been like performing pretty horribly to say the least in terms of viewership but 
in other hand though the general support though the the likes and the comments have been so much more positive and it's felt great okay it's felt way better than what it felt for a long time making videos uh, with just rumors and stuff and uh, honestly just getting away from you know constant daily 4chan rumors is really freaking nice because you get to do something different and you get to wait until properly good and inf good information and fun stuff comes out like this this is good information and fun news so it's way more fun but yeah ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy drop a like down below and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out